Hey guys, Chef Jason, Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Today on Monday Minute Meals, we've got a fantastic treat for you. We are turning you into a wok star. That's right, it is wok fried rice on the big green egg. Now, listen, as we always say, if you don't have an egg, don't worry about it. We have some other options for you as well that'll help you just walk and roll some amazing fried rice. Now, we're taking it super easy today because we have some convenience foods that are helping us really get this meal done within that 30 minutes, right? We're gonna use some leftover rotisserie chicken uh, from the grocery store. You know what? I bought one for dinner, figured I'd buy an extra one and shred it to have some extra. Then it is some of that 90 second rice that's already set and ready to go. Super fast prep, so let's get in and let's get walking. All right, like I said, we have that leftover rotisserie chicken. So what I'll do is go ahead and pull the skin off. Uh, hey, you can add the skin in there if you want, not a big deal. Now, the cool part is I'm gonna start here on the breast meat and uh, separate that off from the chicken and then we'll go ahead and get that shredded. Now, I'm just gonna pull these apart in some little strips, right? Get that all set and ready to go. And now I'll work through this entire chicken, get everything done, uh, get the dark meat as well. Then we'll be finished, we'll move on to veggie prep. All right, so we're starting off with some of those sugar snap peas, then we move over here into those beautiful carrot coins. Now, sweet red bell pepper to just give us some sweetness. We've got a nice yellow onion as well. Then we move into that 90 second rice. We're just using some convenient stuff today. We're gonna season it with a little bit of that tiki tiki rub, giving it a Hawaiian flair. And then because we're barbecue dudes, we're adding some barbecue sauce as well. Now, we're gonna repurpose that rotisserie chicken because we wanna use that extra chicken we have. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of chicken stock, a little bit of sweet soy sauce, and finally garnish it with some green onions. Prep work is done. Time to get out and get that grill fired up. So the best part about the wok is we're gonna add the lower expander ring, which is really gonna hold that wok in place. So we'll get that set. We've got a nice hot ember pile. Now, we're gonna show you how we adjust the top and the bottom, drive it to that 450 degrees, hold it, time to wok and roll. So we'll go ahead and adjust the top vent. We'll get that set about halfway right now. We're definitely gonna watch the thermometer as it climbs. And then we may adjust this just a tiny bit closed to hold that 450. Now, let's head down to the bottom vents. So we've got the bottom screen closed, and now what I'll do is go ahead, adjust this about halfway shut with the flap. Now, I'm gonna leave this as it is, and I'm really gonna fine tune it with the micro adjustments up at the top regulator. All right, we are hovering right about that 450 degrees. We've got the ring in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the wok. I wanna preheat that wok because I'll tell you what, the hot wok really just drives some beauty in those vegetables. Now, probably gonna bring out a little table here, set up a nice little wok station, but we'll get it all set so that we can rock through this, get it done super fast because we're eating in under 30 minutes. All right, it is time to get this stuff fired up. We're gonna add about four tablespoons of oil to the wok. The wok is preheated. Now, I'm gonna add my peppers. Oh, listen to that. That is a nice hot wok. We'll add our onions as well. Now, we're gonna go ahead and wok fry these guys a little bit, get a little bit of heat. One of the things to remember too, this wok has got a nice big bowl, so as we get in here and add that chicken, you can now bring it up to the side and keep it hot, retain that moisture. I am cooking with the big green egg wide open because I wanna keep that heat driving nice and strong. All right, now we're set. We're gonna add our snap peas. We're gonna cook these until they stay bright green. So we're putting them in. This is hot and fast. We're gonna add those carrot coins. Those will do their perfect job as well. And look at that, that rotisserie chicken, boom, we are done. Now, same thing again here. Stir fry this up. And I wait until I see those snap peas just start to get a little bit vibrant green and I know they're done and those carrots will be ready too. Now we're gonna add our 90 second rice, get that all situated in here. And then, tell you what, a little bit of that sweet soy sauce. Perfect, we get a nice thing. Look at that, little chicken stock. Get a little bit more moisture. And then we'll hit it with just a little bit of that tiki tiki, about a tablespoon. And we'll add about a half a cup of high altitude barbecue sauce. Now I want to listen for that to sizzle just a little bit, right? I'm kind of hearing that sizzling, sizzling, and then we're gonna get it. Stir it all up. All right, we are done. I'll tell you, this is perfect. This is beautiful, super fast and easy. I will see you back in the kitchen. Plate this up, we'll show you how to make it look uh, food photo ready. Oh, I'll tell you what, it smells absolutely amazing 
in the kitchen and we are ready now to plate this rice up and get everything set and ready to go. So tell you what we're gonna do. We've got a cool little bowl here all ready to go. I'm gonna take my uh, wok spatula. I'm going to put that right inside here and I'm gonna build a nice little pile, right? I love having a big, huge pile of rice. We will get anything cleaned up and wiped off as well. Now, garnish for us today. Little bit of black sesame seeds, that's always fun. I'll pop a little bit of tiki tiki on top as well, get that set. And then some of those green onions, nice pile in the middle. And we are absolutely finished and ready to go. Wok fried rice in under 30 minutes. So, hey, I'm Chef Jason. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Now, be sure to head up and grab our ingredients for next week's recipe, where we're gonna show you how to make some pretty amazing breakfast quesadilla, folded breakfast quesadillas on the Blackstone griddle. That's right, it's Brinner time, breakfast for dinner. Now, time for that amazing quality control. Cheers.